SANS development permits. It doesn't make any sense. The community has requested a moratorium on new fossil fuel development. This has been supported by the, all 43 chiefs in Alberta signing on to a moratorium on new fossil fuel development. 33 communities in Northwest Territories have signed on to a moratorium of new fossil fuel, uh, tar sands development. Communities on the West Coast have signed a moratorium on, the, on new tar sands development and the transport of those tar sands into the West Coast. And what do we do? We continue to grant more permits. We continue to kill native communities from coast to coast to coast to coast of this continent. This one just talked about you. I don't really need to get into that. But what's happening? We're all taking a stand, and the young people are taking a stand. Young people as young as 10, 11, and 12 years old are getting up and they're saying, act now. Don't pollute me. And they, these kids show up at all the meetings in Fort Chip when industry comes to try and persuade the community to continue to go into agreements with them. They say, we're not going to take this anymore. They write letters to them. And I'm doing what I can to support this by coming to Ottawa, by trying to uphold the rights of my people. Today, you know what I yelled to, this, to the Parliament? I said, sign the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Protect these people. Protect my community. And I got put in jail for it. Currently, this project has emissions that are going to increase to 187 million tons per year. That's basically doubling where they're at right now. That means that we're not going to be able to meet our commitments for climate change. It means that my community is going to be continued, continually destroyed. And all of the rest of the communities across the corridor. And, you know, we're coming up to climate negotiations internationally in Copenhagen. And Native people are not at the table. They're, they're told that they don't have a part in this. And they're coming up with mitigation, like tactics to, to try and clean up the planet. And they're trying to leave tar sands out of the discussion. They're saying, we're not going to touch tar sands with a 10-foot pole. Canada wants to create climate change mitigations or policies that exclude tar sands from from climate change targets. It's absolutely absurd. Um, I have another little slide because what is being done? There's a growing resistance and what can you do, right? I can tell you all this stuff. I can tell you about how my community is being destroyed. I can tell you how awful it is. <coughs> but there are, there's this growing movement. And he's gonna... <laughs> Stopping the tar sands. This is also a little bit old. It's a little outdated, but I'll just sort of go through it. So right now, who is funding these projects? It's major financial institutions. How many people have a bank account with the Royal Bank of Canada? It's okay. I do. I'm raised, literally raising my hand because I do. So the banks are going to invest about $100 billion into tar sands expansion. Like our financial institutions are going to put forward $100 billion for this. And RBC has direct funding to the tar sands at about $15.9 billion. $15.9. If we take the track record, we just did a, a new study and we found out that from 2005 to 2009, RBC's investments actually stopped at $45 billion. $45 billion they're putting towards this. And the CO2 emissions from the projects financed from these Financial institutions account for 109, for, from RBC alone, account for 198 million tons of CO2 per year. And that accounts for 34% of the overall emissions. These are the greenhouse gas gangsters. They're funded by giant corporations that are taking our money that we put into our bank accounts, and they're using it to destroy native communities across Turtle Island. You know what, I don't know if there's anything. There's basically just a lot of things happening and we're trying to target the Royal Bank of Canada. We're asking them to adopt new policies uh, that respect free, prior, and informed consent of the native peoples that they're impacting and that they're destroying through these projects. We're asking them to be accountable for those financed emissions that are going to send, send us off into climate chaos and not allow Canada to meet its climate targets. 
And we're, we're asking RBC cardholders and account holders to pull their money out of RBC or to tell the bank, we don't want our money going to this project. We're asking you to send letters to the, to the CEO, Board Nixon. We've had members from Fort Chip and the Lubicon Territory come out to AGMs and tell them to stop destroying their native communities and respect their free, prior, and informed consent. And we're asking RBC shareholders to uphold those rights as well. And there's a growing movement, and I, and I don't have any materials because I literally came from jail from yes, this. Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, apparently, yes, we do. Taylor has some. They're outside on the table. And they're outside on the table. So, um, I don't think there's really any, well, there's that little one slideshow. It just talks about some of the stuff you can do in your community by maybe going to a branch and harassing them and trying to stop them. And like, you know, handing out information pamphlets for the, which are available for download at www.ran.org slash tarsands. And we are working in partnership with organizations like the Indigenous <laughs> Environmental Network. We are going to climate negotiations. We're pushing this agenda forward from every single angle possible. But this is just one thing that you as individuals can really do. This is one thing that you as individuals can actually have a say in and possibly make an impact in. And it will only work if we all come together and we tell them to start respecting the free, prior, and informed consent of the indigenous peoples in which they are impacting through the financing of these, this giant monster, this mega project that is not just killing native people, but is killing all of us. Thank you.